Hello guys, this is Melbourne Samurai again. Uh, I'm going to speak about other options that we have to fix Windows 10, which is a stock on welcome screen, uh, uh, in which you cannot put in your password or you don't have other options to do. I explained the first method in my first video. You can check it on my channel. This was the page that I provided you with uh, on how to fix Windows 10 stock on welcome screen, uh, which in uh, short steps, I explained that you can go through uh, uh, restarting your Windows uh, by holding the shift key like this, put down the shift key and click on restart. Then it goes to diagnostic mode, uh, going into troubleshoot and advanced options and the startup settings. By this, uh, you're going to click on restart button and then it will restart your computer into this, which gives you the option to here uh, enabling the safe mode. Uh, some of you might have the problem with uh, this option, which is number four. Uh, I recommend you to use five or six. Uh, whichever is working for you would be fine. Uh, after that, you will uh, you would go to your lock screen, and this is your safe mode lock screen, uh, which you need to input your password and go and log in to your Windows. So in safe mode, you're going to uh, type in the start menu, you're going to type msconfig, which uh, is giving you this option, system configuration. And after that, you're going to boot tab, and uh, unclicking the safe boot option. Uh, after that, you're gonna click OK and then restart your computer. Then again, it goes back to your normal windows. After restarting, it goes back to your normal windows, which you can click and put in your password, uh, which help you to solve your problem, as you can see here. Other options that we have, so this was uh, method one. Uh, other options that we have, oh, in case, uh, some of uh, my subscribers told me that uh, they're unable to uh, go into diagnostic mode, uh, which uh, I can uh, recommend you to do some other stuff to uh, get into your diagnostic mode. Uh, First of all is uh, by turning your PC off and on about three times by holding the power button. It means uh, you have to turn it on and off by using your power button on your laptop or your PC. Uh, after a couple of times, it goes to diagnostic mode, which uh, after that you can uh, follow the other procedure that I explained in my other video. Okay, so this was the method one to go into your diagnostic mode. And uh, I have encountered some other comments uh, which were saying, uh, we are stuck on my lock screen. Uh, when we put our password, it goes back to lock screen when you need to put in your password again and again. So uh, this has a simple solution which I already uh, typed in the description so that you can easily follow the procedure and uh, getting out of that trouble. So uh, simply you just need to go into safe mode and log into your windows in safe mode and then restart your computer. So 
you don't need to do anything. You just restart your computer, as I told you before, by holding the shift key down here in my windows. I'm clicking on shutdown button, which gives me two options, shutdown and restart. So I'm holding the shift key on my keyboard, then clicking on restart button. Okay, I don't release my shift key so that it goes directly to diagnostic mode, which gives me the option to choose safe mode. Here, we again go to troubleshoot and advanced options, startup settings. With this page, you just need to click on restart. Then we wait until our windows goes to this page. Uh, this is the startup setting. We are going to choose one of the safe mode options, which is choice number four or five or six. Whichever works for you would be fine. So I'm going to click uh, my four, number four button on my keyboard to go into safe mode. So you're in your safe mode, in your Windows safe mode, uh, which needs you to type in your password and click enter. And the only thing you have to do is just uh, waiting for the Windows to go in safe mode and log in. Uh, after logging in here, we can see. Okay, we are logged in our windows in safe mode. We only need to restart our computer again. So the problem is going to be solved by only going to safe mode and logging in. After that, restarting and going back to our uh, main windows, which uh, will solve the problem that you might have when you type your when you type your password, type in your password, uh, it goes again uh, and asks you again to type in your password. So this problem would be fixed by only logging into safe mode and restarting into our main windows. So another option that you might have to uh, solve this problem, which uh, doesn't give you the option to put in your password, is uh, by only and only uh, disabling your Wi-Fi connection or your cable connection, uh, whichever you use. After that, uh, you might have the option to uh, put in your password and going through Windows. This might be the Windows 10 problem, uh, so it can be fixed by only uh, disconnected, uh, disconnecting your network, which is here, for, uh, for example, for me, because this is a VMware, uh, I'm going to disable my connection here, so no, no connections are available, which gives me the option to put in my password. So try this third method. Uh, in case you have any other problems, just let me know and I will uh, surely take a video to explain it to you. Good luck, guys. Have a great time. Uh, see you soon and make sure you subscribe.